Oh, whoop. We got a countdown. 30 seconds? No. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to I'm going to sing some songs and sing read some stories. You want to Do you want to listen to any while while I'm here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have a seat, you know. Have you have you? Looks like you got a delicious treat there. What are you uh, What are you having? It looks like icy or something. Yeah, hi, that's me. I'm here. What story? Oh, it's called, uh, there's one called Who Are You, which is about gender identity, and uh, one is called uh, Marsha and Sylvia Start a Revolution. Oh, right. Yeah, have you heard that one? No, but I mean, I know Sylvia. Nice. Great. Yeah, this book, uh, this is uh, relatively new. It just, uh, it just came out? I, I can't remember when it came out. I was looking information about it and stuff. The original title was like Marsha and Sylvia Best Friends. Oh, okay. But uh, so it changed title in there after they, um, they did like a Kickstarter for it. Because oh, okay. as uh, maybe big surprise, there's not that many stories about Marsha Johnson, Marsha B. Johnson I got, and, I got yours. and Sylvia Rivera. Hey, look, there's four people watching me online. Sorry, I was pointing at my, my phone right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nobody, uh, I mean, I guess ice cream person is over here. But uh, hey, everybody, uh, this is Jez. I'm also streaming online. We're going to try this, you know. I've never done this hybrid story time. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's a, it's a pride-themed story time. We've got two books up for today. This one is called Who Are You? Kid's Guide to Gender Identity. And it's good for adults, too, I think. Um, also, this one. Sylvia and Marsha start a revolution. Does anybody know who Sylvia and Marsha are? Oh, yeah. Who's, uh, who do you know? Sylvia. Sylvia. Who's what do you know about Sylvia? Trans activist. Trans activist. That's what I know about Marsha. Oh, my God. Also Marsha. Totally. Both trans. Do you get head freeze? Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. It's all a part of the game. <laughs> Oh, look, there's people online. Hi, everybody. If you know who Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera are, you know, share it in the chat. Get on it. Um, I'm going to play a song. It's not going to be as loud as I wanted it to be, but uh, it's... This is what I got. After the ad, just wait for the ad. Good thing you don't even know what it is. It's just, uh, it's just, it's, it's for nothing. It's for Marsha P. Johnson. So could stand for your laughter. All right, this is a this is a dance section. If you have a, if you want a, a, a scarf and do any dancing while we're here, this is, uh, this is available. You know, if you have a scarf at home or you have something you want to play with. Yeah. 
This is a this is a little uh, scarf for you if you want it. Do you want this? Oh no, it's kind of intense, huh? Do you want a scarf? Yeah, we're dancing right now. This is a dance section. Uh, oh. I had a scarf. What the fuck? Do you want Do you want one of these? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Where did them all the stars from? What's that? Where did them all the stars from? All the stars? Scars. Scars. Do I have scars? Scarves. Oh, they're coming out of my magic my magic box here. Watch out, magic box. <coughs> Magic. Yeah. I can see them. I'm uh, I'm streaming online right now. There's also at least one person on the internet watching me right now. And this song is called uh, Happy Pride by Betty. And it includes a clapping. You can kind of hear it going, right? Okay, so you heard it one time, right? You heard it one time. Can you practice this with me? You gotta, we're gonna do some clapping. One time, three times? Three times, actually. Oh, okay. We listened to it one time, but we're gonna listen to it one more time. And this is your opportunity to, to do the clapping. Are you ready? Show me how you clap. Yeah, one more time. One more time. Yeah, it's gonna be three in a row like that. And uh, and you can say this with me. You say, happy pride. Happy pride. I don't know if it's happy enough. Are you happy? Yes. No, it's, uh, it feels kind of hot, right? Oh, I know. It's hot and stuff. You know, you don't want to like exert too much, but just use your, your belly. Just say it from your belly. You say, happy pride. Happy pride. Yeah. Clap your hands. Happy Pride! Happy Pride! Woo! Cool! All right, That's so I'm gonna. That's four in a row. That's four. Wait a second. One, two, three. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. All right, good counting. All right, here it comes. I'm actually six already. He knows how to read. That's great. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. You're keeping me on track, you know. Okay. Maybe kind of hard to hear, hear the sound of this, but. I can hear you. So it's gonna say, I'll say it when they say it. Clap your hands. <laughs> Clap your hands. Wave it out. Happy Pride. Happy Pride! Happy Pride! Happy Pride! Yeah, I heard it from this side. Happy Pride! You know, dancing is pretty crucial for Pride. I feel like dancing is like one of the, the required activities for Pride. Can you say what Pride is? Oh yeah, let's talk about that actually. Um, there's another, uh, there's another 30 seconds. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't interrupt the show. Happy Pride! Do do Happy Pride! I Woo! What is Pride? Uh, pride is like, Pride is like, People being oh, sorry. Like, Stupid ad. Never mind. People being like lesbians or gay or bisexual or homosexual or trans. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what is the okay. feeling? Yeah, what's like, like there's also this feeling of pride that's connected to those uh, identities, right? Like, happy. It's a happy feeling, right? Where do you feel pride? In the heart. In the heart, yeah, yeah. I, I usually feel pride if I like, if I like, like this. It's, uh, it's like, this is my feeling when I feel pride. Are you wearing a mustache? Yes, yes I am. It's, it's mastermind. my mastermind mustache. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, this is a really important thing. Uh, and uh, so I chose some books specifically for pride that I can show with you. This one is called 
Who are you? Which is uh, about gender identity, which is some of the identities that you mentioned. Thank you, thank you for mentioning that. That was, that was great. So this book is called Who Are You? Who are you? I'm Maximus. You're you're Maximus, right? You're a major. Okay. You know you know your name, so that's great. Now it's interesting. Do you know what your gender is? What's gender? Do you know what gender is? Anybody? That's okay. Boy, boy, girl. Exactly. So it's uh, it's a number of identities like boy, girl, and a number of other ones actually too. Also, check it out. I'm going to show this book to you, okay? All right. Oh, I forgot to introduce my own gender identity, actually. Okay. My own gender is Z, actually. Z is another gender. It's a non-binary gender because usually we think of gender as either boy or girl, but actually there's a whole spectrum of genders, um, similar to, like, the rainbow, which is why the rainbow is a symbol for pride because there's actually a whole number of different identities that you can be. So here it is. This is a story about you. Oh, did you know this story is about you? It's about you and you, too. The important thing to remember is that you are the one who knows you the best. Oh, no, uh, don't. I actually need it back. Thank you. Thank you for asking, though. That was nice. Um, so you're the only one who knows you best, right? People know you well, they know you in different ways, but you really know who you are. When babies are born, people usually ask, oh, is it a boy or a girl? Babies can't talk, right? Oh, you started talking already. That's so great. But she can't talk a lot. Can't talk a lot, exactly. So babies can't say very much about like how they feel, who they think they are. And so people usually just guess by looking at them and looking at their bodies. Now this is actually when people say, is it a boy or a girl, when they're born, they're, they're deciding what is the sex of the baby. It's usually based on male or female. But sometimes people get confused, get this, this idea confused with gender. Gender is actually much more than the body you're born with. As babies grow into kids, then they start to talk and they start to know what they like and don't like. And this is your personal expression. You know what I mean by expression? It's like a way of being. Or it's like a way of talking. Oh yeah, don't, don't take things from mommy. Right? Unless, <laughs> unless he wants you to take them. Um, this is your personal expression. What you like, how you dress and act. And there are many ways to express yourself. Even from day to day. You can change from day to day. So, big question. What do you like? What do you like? I like to play, I like to play painting. You like to play with paints, like painting? That's awesome, I love painting. I like anime. What do you like? I like anime. Anime? I love anime. Gardening. gardening. Oh my gosh, gardening. <laughs> what is it, video games? Yeah. Totally, video games, huge. Do you, what do you like? Dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're, you know. Dogs and cats are I got a pet fish. Wait, dogs and cats are the same thing? Dogs, dogs are like puppies and um, the big dogs are like the same thing, just smaller. Oh, I see, but, right, yeah. But cats puppies hate dogs because the, and dogs. the dogs eat cats and the cats <laughs> and the cats like give them skippy this caps. Sometimes dogs, sometimes dogs scratch a cat. Dog. A cat they give them kibbity pets. I saw them in, in the in the movie. That's cool. That's cool. No, no, it's interesting. It's really participatory. I'm happy to like have your participation. You know. So there's a whole bunch of things here that you could choose from that you might like. And the thing is, um, some of these things are are commonly thought of as like girl things or like boy things. You know, and uh, kids know. 
a lot about themselves. And they know who they are just by how they feel inside, you know? So this is your identity. It's who you feel like inside and who you know yourself to be. This can be, this can also change as you grow up. It can change. Like uh, I, when, I was, when I was born and when I was a kid, I was thinking of myself as a he. I thought of myself as a boy. This is how I was raised. And actually more recently, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm different than that. I'm like a little bit, I'm a little bit weird when it comes to just being a boy. Like I like to wear spandex. Uh, this is like kind of an unusual thing to do as a boy. What's spandex? Spandex. It's a kind of uh, it's a kind of material like that's that uh, pants or shirts or things like that are made from. Oh, I like your, I like your oh cool. Yeah. So so this uh, this identity can change as you go. Some people say there are only two genders, but there are really much more. There's more than two genders. That's right. Do you, do you have any idea how many? Uh, Maybe like 100. Could be 100. I may Could have be. said that already. Could be 100. Because no, actually... I said 100. You said 100. So you copy it. That's right. Like, see, people are like kind of constantly inventing themselves. This is the way I, I think of, of our lives. We're constantly Some inventing people, ourselves. Some people like killing. Oh right, gay like being gay is bad, right? Yeah, like that that's true. There's a there's a big what we call like stigma for people who identify as being gay that that is bad. Um, but I think it's important actually. I'm not gonna mention that like being gay isn't actually a gender. Um, being gay is like a what they call sexual orientation, and sometimes this gets confused, you know. But uh, but it's different. Um, was there another question? Uh, I don't see any right now. But uh, for some people, the grown-ups guessed it right about their body, right? They, they looked at their body and they said, I think this is a boy. And, and the but child grows up. What's up? If some, some people, when they have babies, they think it's a boy, but it's actually a girl. That's true. That happens. When, when boys doesn't, if boys, because if bullies catch you, you have to run and go to your... Oh, that's interesting. I, I'm not sure what that story is, but... Um, the, the big distinction, the thing I want to share with you is, is this thing called uh, uh, cisgender or transgender. Cisgender is, refers to like when someone's body, um, it matches like their gender. So if they were born as a boy and they grow up and they think of themselves as a boy, they're they're a cis, they're cisgender. It's the same. They think of their gender as the same as their sex. What's up? That's true. That's called uh, intersex, actually. Last time, true. Last time, Samaya called out mommy's belly. And she out a Ooh, that's this may be some personal information we don't want to get into yet. But the other the other word I want to share with you is transgender. Actually, that's the other big word, transgender. Do you know what that means? Yeah. When, oh wait, go ahead. Um, when somebody with the body of a, of a male or female decides to um, change the body to um, female or male. That's true. Yeah, like it's uh, it can even be like they don't even have to change their body if they just realize that they feel like different than how their body feels, then th and they identify as something other than how their body feels. So that's huge because that tells us a big thing about who people are because there's also a big stigma against transgender people and it's so sad it's it's really bad and we're working to change it that's why pride is also about celebrate celebrating transgender people and so i'm gonna play a song uh on my ukulele i like songs i have a song it's uh does anybody know david bowie no no you don't know david bowie changes to changes yes totally <laughs> Bowie is yeah, huge. We don't know anything between Michael Jackson and Michael Jordan. Okay. I like, I like Michael Jackson. Me too. Michael Jackson is the best. 
Jackson did this. He leaned and Jackie did this. Oh yeah, totally. David Bowie was huge. Huge, huge. So I'm gonna play a song for you. Uh, I got these. Uh, you got a you got a scarf. If you want to do a little, this is like a little opportunity to like stretch or dance or just move around, you know. If you want uh, one of these, you can uh, you can find something at home or or use one of these while it's here. I'm gonna set it out and you can dance around with it. This song is called Rebel Rebel because Pride is also about rebellion. I don't know. You don't know about it yet. Here it comes. Here it comes. You've got your mother in a world. She's not sure if you're a boy or a girl. Hey, babe, your hair's all right. Hey, babe, let's go out tonight. We like dancing and we like it all. We like dancing and we look divine. You love bands when they play it hard. You want more and you want it fast. They put you down, they say I'm wrong. You tacky thing, you put them on. Rebel, rebel, you torn your dress. Rebel, rebel, your face is a mess. Rebel, rebel, how could they know? Hot kid, I love you so. You've got your father in a tizzy. He's not sure if you're a they or a Z. Hey, babe, you're looking so fine. Hey, babe, let's have a great time. Like me and we like it all. Dancing and we look divine. You love bands when they play it hard. You want more and you want it fast. They put you down, they say I'm wrong. You tacky thing, you put them on. You want to sing this with me? You yeah. say this Rebel, Rebel. Rebel, Rebel. Yeah. Rebel, Rebel. Rebel, Rebel. Rebel, Rebel. You've torn your dress and say it again. Rebel, rebel, your face is a mess. You're rebel, rebel, how could they know? Rebel, rebel, I love you so. Oh, wow, okay. We'll do it one more time. You want to sing this with me? Okay, wait, wait for it. I'm coming up for it. They put you down, they say I'm wrong. The tacky thing, you put them on. Ready? Rebel, rebel, they've torn your dress. Rebel, rebel, your face is a mess. Rebel, rebel, how could they know? Rebel, rebel, I love you so. That's uh, you're now inducted into the David Bowie fan club, and uh, David Bowie is really exciting because David Bowie was also um, he was uh, playing with his gender. Uh, he was uh, he, he started as a boy, as my understanding, but he also you know wore clothes that boys don't normally wear, and uh, it was a big change for a lot of people. So he was transgender. Um, no, actually he wasn't. Um, he uh, that's interesting, you know, because. He just, uh, he just kind of played with the gender. He didn't necessarily identify as a woman or something other than a man. That's my understanding. Yeah. I to understand them. Yeah. But, uh, but this song was, I don't know, that was, that was a great song. I really like that song. And then this one is actually a big, important book. This one is called Sylvia. Oh, what's up? Yeah, totally. I'm bringing this out. Because this is... This is actually the reason for the Pride Festival. I mean, like, without Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson, there would be no Pride. This just wouldn't exist. So these two people are trans activists of color 
You know, uh, Marsha P. Johnson is African American, and uh, uh, Sylvia Rivera is Puerto Rican, and um, they are so important. This is their story. So I'm going to read this. Sylvia and Marsha start a revolution. Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson weren't just friends. They were as close as sisters. Sto uh, strolling along arm in arm down Christopher Street in Manhattan, they looked magnificent. Can you say, magnificent? Magnificent! 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 Yes, they all look magnificent today. So Sylvia, Marsha cried, see that girl over there? She looks really hungry. Give her a dollar. Marsha, said yeah. Sylvia, that's all our money. How are we going to eat? Marsha said, us, we'll be fine, honey. <laughs> honey, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's not right for these kids to be sleeping in the street. That's what Sylvia said. She remembered what her, her grandma said when Sylvia wore a dress for the first time. Sylvia had finally felt free. But grandma had frowned and said, you're a boy. She said, act like it. Sylvia knew that she could only act like herself. Oh, that's so funny. Look, here's another person. He says, that's a man in a dress. A woman shouted, pointing at Marcia and Sylvia. Look at me, Marcia said. I'm not a man. I'm a woman. And I always have been. And Sylvia just laughed at that lady. Why? Why? Suddenly. Oh, why did she laugh? Well, because uh, she didn't realize that uh, gender is... She didn't understand how gender works. She didn't realize that it's possible to be a woman, but still um, have been born as a man. Why did Marsha cry? Oh, why did Marsha cry? Uh, I think she was feeling sad because... Uh, do you remember she saw this person over here, right? Oh, yeah. She saw this person who was suffering. You know, they were homeless. Okay, then Marsha heard a call. Okay, this is a this is a call. You, you might hear this a few other times today. Here comes Alice in the blue dress. Can you say this with me? Here comes Alice in the blue dress. Oh no, thought Marsha. That means the cops are coming. Police could arrest. They could arrest transgender girls just for wearing a dress. And so she grabbed Sylvia's hand, and they ran. They took off. Sylvia panted. <gasps> Are you okay? And Marcia said, Honey, I'm tired of being treated so bad. Sylvia sighed. Someday girls like us will be able to wear whatever we want. People will call us by the names we choose. They'll respect us. The cops will leave us alone. And none of us will go hungry. Sylvia and Marcia talked and talked about making life better for themselves and their sisters. And then... On June 28th, 1969, they took action. Do you know why that date's important? Yeah. Why? Because, 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 uh, because that's when Pride Month started. That's right. That's what, that's what Pride Month started. That's right. You know what? And do you know what day it is today? Oh, shoot, did I skip it? Is it the 26th? I thought it was the 28th today. Actually, I'm guessing. I don't remember. It's the 26th. Okay, it's not quite It's not quite Pride technically in, uh, you know, the calendar or whatever. But it's really close. So that's why people celebrate Pride right now. I mean, Pride Month is only two days away. That's right. It's coming. Two days. Two days. And then it's summer. Here's the story of the first action. It's called the Stonewall Rebellion. Sylvia burst into the Stonewall Inn. Happy birthday, Marsha! Ah, you want to say that you, you can, we can imagine we're there, you know? So what do you suppose they, they sang happy birthday to Marsha, right? They were like, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marsha. Happy birthday to you. And Marsha said, thanks, honey. Thanks, honey. 
They grooved on the dance floor until... Here comes Alice in the blue dress. Yeah, that's right, they heard. Here comes Alice in the blue dress. Oh no, the police again. What police? That's right, here they come. That's a man in a dress, policeman said. Show me your ID or I'll arrest you. Not on my birthday, said Marsha. The police ordered everyone to get into the street and they began making arrests. Marsha yelled, come on! The two friends rushed towards the police van. This is like some of the most brave thing I've ever heard in my life. Look at this. They pushed past the officers. They broke open the van door and they dragged out their friends and set them free. <laughs> the revolution, shouted Sylvia. It's beautiful. Woo. I used to What's that? This thing? Oh yeah, it is. I think so. I don't know if anybody's still watching. <laughs> <laughs> so the next day, everyone on Christopher Street was talking about the Stonewall Rebellion. And Sylvia and Marcia strode with pride like two lionesses until they heard the call. Here comes Alice in the blue dress! Oh no. Who is it again? The cops. Look at these children with no homes running from the cops. We gotta do something for them. Marsha frowned. You know, we're just two friends. We're trying to survive ourselves. We'll give them what we got, said Sylvia. Friendship. Let's get a house and open it up to all the young sisters living on the street. And so these young transgender girls came from miles around to live with Sylvia and Marsha. Together, they took care of each other. They ate together, laughed together, and struggled together. And they became family. Sylvia and Marcia spent their lives fighting for the survival and rights of transgender people. And their memory, oh, through it all, they were best friends. And their memory shines like a star, showing us that with our friends, we can change the world. The end. Or it's not the end, actually, because it's just the beginning. It's the pride beginning. Um, I have one other song that I can share with you before the end of our story time, and it's called Rebel Girl. Ooh. Yeah. Love it. You know this one? No. I oh, okay. Like <laughs> Rebel Girl. This is a song by Bikini Kill. Not normally played on the ukulele, so it's going to sound oh, quite different. But this is it. Oh, oh I got to change the tuning. Get my setup here. No, that's not quite right. That girl thinks she's the queen of the neighborhood. She's got the hottest strike in town. That girl, she holds her head up so high. I think I want to be her best friend, yeah. Rebel girl, rebel girl. Rebel girl, you are the queen of my world. Rebel girl, rebel girl, I think I want to go home. I want to try on your clothes, uh. When she talks, I hear the revolution. When she kisses, no wait, in her hips, the revolution. When she walks, the revolution's coming. In her kiss, I taste the revolution, rebel girl, rebel girl, rebel girl, you are the queen of my world, rebel girl, rebel girl, wanna go home, man, I wanna try on your clothes, uh. Go home and I wanna try on your clothes, love it.
you like a sister, so say, oh, wibble, wibble, girl, love you with the... No, wait, I can't read the lyrics. <laughs> That's the problem. Love you like a sister, always soul sister, rebel girl. Come and be my best friend, will you, rebel girl? I really like you, I really want to be your best friend. Be my rebel girl. Yeah. That's rebel girl. That's uh, my best attempt at this moment because I'm really hot right now. Oh my yeah, goodness. Are you feeling it? Yeah, it Ooh, yeah, this one is keeping all the heat in. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's the end of uh, the thing. I think, uh, I don't know, maybe do you want to share anything about like what you learned today or what, uh, what, you, what you liked, what you... Uh... Every human being is equal no matter what race, gender, or um, um, other... Um, a million genders you are. That's amazing. Thank you. That is so true. I appreciate that. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Happy Month. Pride Month. That's Happy right. Pride Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Drop some knowledge. Wait, what was your name? Come here. What's your name? I'm Elijah. Elijah. Nice. Thank you, Elijah. I'm Jez. Nice to meet you. Uh, what was your name? Sandrea. Sandrea? Sandrea. Sandrea. Yeah. Sandrea. Okay, thank you, Sandra. You were you were so helpful. You you gave like so much knowledge to the to the people today. It was great. I have a question. Oh yeah. I'm more familiar with like they them being used for non binary Yeah. The Z. Yeah. Is there a difference between they them and Z? It's just uh, I think it's like a preference of uh, for me it's like a preference of sound. <laughs> I just like the z the z. I like the letter Z, and um, and since there's there's actually like. Uh, some things that people call like neo pronouns. People have kind of been experimenting with other possible uh, gender neutral pronouns, um, and even just like things that uh, that explore like the gender spectrum. Just like things that might be combinations that aren't strictly referring to like boy, girl, or something in between, or something like that. So I don't know. It's it's. Uh, I think it's just a. It's like a point of uh, preference. Um, yeah. And is there a difference between Andrea. Andrea. non-binary and gender non-conforming? Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, my my experience of uh, gender non-conforming is just that maybe you don't identify as like a different gender, but you dress or you express yourself in ways that are not typical to like that gender. Um, Non-binary would be like very explicitly saying like I am not that or that I am I am other I'm something else yeah yeah you're welcome thanks for your questions thanks for being here and uh, sharing this with me. All right, I feel the drips. I feel the drips coming. I don't know who else we got here, but uh, happy Pride. Way to go, everybody. Thanks for being here. I'm going to finish this. Oh, thank you.